and, and we've, we struggled a lot with technology. When does ever, anyone ever get it right? But we're now talking about the digital age, the velocity of change and the volume of new products and services from a variety of service providers with unique value offerings have characterized the digital age. So Ruth, what scares you with reg regard to the evolution of technology? When is it going to stop? How far are we going to go? You are the expert in this space. <laughs> Over to you. I don't know if I'm an expert, but I, I've decided to educate myself on technology given my role at the Uganda Telecommunications uh, Limited. Because uh, for all intents and purposes, it's, it's more of now a technology company than a telecommunications, if, if you know what I mean. Because you, you have uh, mobile money, you have you know, many pl platforms which you must engage at, uh, and, and you're not typically a, a telecom. So, um, so I think it's coming now to three years of, of my dad self uh, education but I also have you know young people that are taking me on this journey so when Rachel calls me an expert <coughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you but stay with me stay with me I double checked some of the things I'm going to, to talk to you about um, what is getting very scary and I, I, I I'm going to refer to a, a business insider article I read and already you will identify with some of the things um, there is an article by business insider I I forgot to reference it but they, are, they, they listed 11 things that are creepy, creepy about, about technology. The first one is, is what they call the social credit. So you are there on your social media and you are being profiled. You know, data is being collected about you. So, and they've said already China is using this social credit to profile its, its citizens. So you, are you, are you going to get a, an apartment, for example, or, or uh, in a certain location because of your profile on social media? We say, now this one is always making noise on social media. She won't be in our area. Y you know what I mean? So you, yeah. like, you can't be in Muyenga. You you you'll be eligible to live in another part of the world. So and China is already profiling its citizens like that, and it's so they are saying it's creepy, and I think it's creepy. Yeah, yeah. that <laughs> you. Uh, so we have to be very responsible with the way we 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 we. we we profile ourselves on social media because states or some governments are actually doing that. I also looked up, uh, there is a JP Morgan um, uh, study on, on, on hacking and, and hackers and what they, they are able to do. And they've listed three different categories of hackers. There is one, by the way, one of them is governments. Our governments are hackers. But they are saying governments are doing 10% of hacking. 20% uh, are what they are calling hack activists. So they will hack into your data because they have a cause. For example, if you're producing certain types of products and they don't agree, or, or maybe you're using child labor and they don't agree with, with how you're, you're, you're delivering your goods, they will hack into your systems just so that they make the point that you, know, you must get your, your systems right or you must uh, uh, adhere to some uh, global causes, poverty, and hunger, or whatever, or end child labor. So that's 20%. Then the 70% are, are, are criminals. They are doing it for the money. They, they, they break in, they go in there to find something. To find something. I'm not, I'm not audible enough, is that? Ah, sorry. So they, 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 the 70% are your, the criminals. They, they are in it for the money. And I think that is the most scary one, that um, they are online. You're, they are using Apple Pay or whichever uh, platform uh, that, that you're using to make uh, financial transactions online, and they are, they are you know, hacking into your systems or, or your platforms to get your financial information and, 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 and personal identity to use it as if they were the ones trading. So, so that, that is another creepy thing. The other creepy thing is the, 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 the robots that are going to be like human. I think Boston... Boston uh, uh, Robotics has developed a robot which can enter the room and scan the room and say, ah, he's hiding behind the fridge. Yeah, wow. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So these things, they, some of them are exciting, but they are calling them creepy according to Business Insider. The other, obviously, is what you're already doing. Maybe uh, in the room I can see Netflix users. You're already telling Alexa to do something for you on, 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 on when, when you're doing your movies or whatever. So, and they're saying, the, the question is, is Alexa just waiting for your instructions, or he, he or she, he, she, 
<laughs> exactly, yeah. He, he or she is actually listening into your conversations. There is a debate that is in Amazon really also picking your your other conversations because Alexa is just waiting. And only when you ask a question or they uh, Alexa says, I've not understood or could you say that again? But how about all the time when Alexa is, is quiet? So that is also uh, uh, creepy. The other one is uh, baby, ha baby uh, uh, monitors, uh, you know. Uh, there are no people with kids here, they don't know. Uh, <laughs> but if you, know, if, if you are a, a modern mother and, and you're back to work and, and you want to monitor your baby, so you're back in the office, you have a camera and it's seeing what your baby is doing or what your nanny is doing with the baby. So other people are going to hack into that and, and, and start saying, you know, I know where your baby is because they see you're such a, a, you know, a posh mom, you're, you're worried about the child. And so they've profiled you and, and you're praying, uh, you know, uh, uh, rather, and, and they're praying on, on that. So uh, some that those are some of the creepy things that are, are, are developing around technology. Obviously, the rest you know, uh, and we've experienced this, that your system can shut down, you will, you will wake up when your business is, is, is gone. So what do you do? Do you have you backed up? Are you in the cloud? Do you have disaster recovery mechanisms? I think the rest of, of it we, we, we already know. But I wanted us to highlight the you know the, the creepier ones uh, as, as Business Insider uh, calls them. Uh, I, th I think then the last one would be um, the, 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 the the one that I I, I thought was a bit uh, um, it's not creepy, but they are saying that as we continue with the technology, the gaps are going to widen. As you have seen, the big four are bigger than how many countries combined in terms of uh, GDP. The big four, Apple, um, Google, Facebook, and, and Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, they are, they, are ruling, they are ruling our world. So it is, it is argued that the wealth gap is going to increase because of technology. Those that have will continue having by a very big uh, uh, gap. So that is the other side of technology that you wake up and there is these big millionaires overnight because of technology, which is a good thing. And then, the, you know, so the, the wealth gap is, is continuing to, to, to widen. So those are things to think about.